OK, but, I mean, it sounds like it must be a sauna in there. Do you know what the average, and a very expensive, dual fuel bill is per household in the UK? You say you spend £3,000 on a 600-square-foot office. Do you know what the average bill, bill is per household? Just over 1000 Yeah. So how are you spending £3,000, then? Well, they're not running... They're not running... Well, if you're calling me a liar, uh, then, you're, then you're joining The Times, whose story's just fallen to pieces, and you're joining well, Dennis McShane, who was the last person who accused me £3,000 on electricity. Me missing... what, what are you doing in there? What, it does. what do you run in there? Running machines, running banks of computers... What machine? Running banks photocopiers, of computers? ..doing things, what doing I... things doing things that use a lot more electricity than many household chores. Sounds like Tracy Island then. You've got banks of computers. But again, you you're doing the same thing. You are doing you are doing exactly the same thing that the Times is trying to do. You are trying to conflate the expenses regime in Westminster where people make claims with the EU system of fixed monthly allowances. Well, they listen, are totally we, we've agreed... I, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what, you know, we all should be concerned. I'll tell you what we're doing. We've agreed it's taxpayers' cash. We know the regime, and it's far from yep. perfect in the House of Commons, which you have criticised MPs' behaviour, most notably Maria Miller in the past, but they have to account for things like this. They have to give us receipts. They have to let us yes. examine them. And, and if they overclaim, they have to yes. repay them. You say you're given the cash and yes. you spend it as you feel free on campaigning for UKIP. Is that right? That... That is how the European Union works. It's one of the reasons I don't want us to be a member of it. How much did you claim? How much have you claimed? What, being an MEP for 15 years? How much... Uh, not claim? I don't okay, claim any money. How, mu how much have you received? See, <laughs> I don't know. If you take £3,580 a month, which is about the mean, and multiply it out, you will come to a figure. But the amount of money I'm given to do this job is exactly the same as the other 750 MEPs, and that's okay. the point. And, and what is but happening is that the here excuse? is there is a false application here. But is that the excuse? We heard, it from the, listen, we heard it from the MPs on expenses, uh, didn't we, when they were in all their troubles, that everyone else was doing it. That's no excuse, Mr Farage. You lead the I party. You have to set an example. Yes, I'm setting the example. I want to be sacked. I want every British MEP to be sacked. I want these allowances to end totally. And I want us to have a referendum to get us out of the European Union. I've spent 15 years. I have travelled more miles. I've spoken at more meetings. I have worked harder across the United Kingdom than any other British MEP. And, and without those allowances, I couldn't have done the job. OK, but, I mean, would £3 million be about right? 15 years as an MEP. You said in, what was it, 2009, 10 years as an MEP, that you'd received about yeah. £2 million. Can we another million over well, the next what, five years? Uh, yeah. That was what Dennis McShane said, and he accused me of wrongdoing, and then he went to prison. It's what you said to Dennis McShane? Yeah. Well, it was a mistake, so I'm not going to give you a figure. Uh, you know, if you want to get the figures, ask the European Parliament. They'll give it to you. I will repeat, my claims... My, my claims, my allowances as an MEP are exactly the same as every other British MEP. But, I mean, just on the office money, do you think it's right it's paid into your personal account? At least then we'd be able to no. account for where it all goes. No. no, I don't approve of any of the financial methods of the European Union. After all, they haven't had the account signed off for the last 18 years in a row. I'm not but... sitting here to defend the way the European system works, but to explain that it is utterly and entirely different to the Westminster one, and that I have not sought to make any personal gain from these allowances over the course of the last 15 years. And for the Times to run a story mm. where the witness is a woman who is currently serving a suspended jail sentence, having been convicted of fraud and forgery, to say that I took taxpayers' money and put it in the Cayman Islands, frankly, is outrageous. This is a political smear of the worst kind. And what it shows is just how well UKIP is doing okay. in the run-up to the European Well, I mean, you mentioned, you mentioned the Cayman Islands there, so you haven't got any accounts there. What about the Isle of Man? You've got a trust there, haven't you? No, my children did briefly have one. It's been closed. I've never been the beneficial owner of a trust in the Isle of Man. I've never had any account of any kind ever in the Cayman Islands. And it is, you know, you may as well put on the front page that I've committed murder. It is just an outrage to rely on a criminal that I barely know that makes an allegation like this. And it just shows the Times are desperate mm. uh, to have a go at UKIP. Uh, but I'm pleased to say their story is, as we speak, falling to pieces. But the charge is not that, Mr Farage. You must have read the editorial that goes along with it in the Times as well, and it's one that many people must be thinking. Yeah. It's, one of, it's one of hypocrisy. You criticise what you call the political class looking after its own and letting down the electorate, and yet here you take, well, let's say tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of, of pounds and of euros, you let it go into your personal account, and you, and you don't really 
let us know where it all goes. You don't tell us how it's spent. I've said, I've said since 1999 in my first campaign, elect us to the European Parliament and you, we will use the wherewithal that this institution provides to fight against Britain's continued membership of this union. And that's why I've spent 15 years working damned hard the length and breadth of this country trying to push that campaign. And given the rise in Euroscepticism, I'm beginning to think it might have had some effect. And just, uh, I mean, Mr Farage, on, on the source of the story, the Times don't identify the source yeah. of the story. They did in their email to me yesterday. Uh, they named the woman. Uh, and, and said that she had gone on the record saying that I was transferring money to the Cayman Islands. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I told them that it was utterly and entirely untrue, and yet, in an attempt to try and defame my reputation, they still put it on the front page. OK, well, we'll leave that uh, between you and the Times newspaper. Mr Farage, thank you very much indeed. Nigel Farage there, the uh, leader of UKIP, live there from Strasbourg.